And we start with breaking news this midday, the death of Ross Perot Sr., a Texan born and bred, a man who revolutionized the tech industry, revamped the political landscape, and gave so much back to so many people here in North Texas. That news just coming in within the last 90 minutes or so. And uh, as you would imagine, reaction pouring in on the death of Ross Perot from presidents to humanitarians, a lot of people sounding off today. We begin our coverage with Chris Sadegi in our Dallas newsroom. Chris. Jason, the name Ross Perot is ingrained in so many things across Texas, including a museum here in Dallas, the city where he died this morning at his home, surrounded by his family. He just celebrated his 89th birthday last month. Born in Texarkana, Texas, during the Great Depression, he became a self-made billionaire, but only after serving his country in the Navy. After his service, he entered the business world as a salesman at IBM in Dallas. He went on to become the founder of Electronic Data Systems and Perot Systems, a big philanthropist. He donated money to many Many causes and organizations, the Perot Museum, the Meyerson Symphony Center, UT Southwestern, just to name a few here in Dallas. And he became known around the country when he entered the 1992 race for president, earning 19 percent of the vote, the most successful third party candidate in 80 years. At home, he was a devoted family man married to the same woman, his wife Margot, for 62 years, and they had five children. Former President George W. Bush released a statement this morning saying Texas and America have lost a strong patriot. Ross Perot epitomized the entrepreneurial spirit and the American creed. He gave selflessly of his time and resources to help others in our community, across our country, and around the world. New Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson also commenting by saying Texas and America have lost a strong patriot. We have lost a true Dallas icon. Ross Pro was a veteran, successful businessman, and philanthropist who spent his life working hard to make our city, state, and country better. He personified the American dream and will be sorely missed. The Perot Museum said this morning his legacy as a leader, independent thinker, technological trailblazer, and American patriot will endure and continue to serve as an inspiration in fulfilling our mission. The website rossperot.com says there will be a public memorial service. However, right now those plans are still to be announced. Jason, back to you. All right, uh, Chris, thank you for that. Again, a lot of people uh, feeling this very viscerally today. Uh, we've been watching social media and a lot of folks who voted for Ross Perot back in 92 and 96 when he was a third party candidate uh, have been weighing in on this on social media. Dom Grady saying rest in peace, Mr. Perot. Some of us were listening. You can see that Ross Perot for president uh, in 92 there. Uh, Omar says back then he made a U.S. presidential election unorthodox, but with class rest in peace. Uh, then Guy says Ross Perot died. How much will he be missed? Here's a chart. You see it going straight up here. Uh, Ross Perot, in case you weren't around for the 92 and 96 elections, uh, was well known for taking out a lot of TV time and using a lot of charts to explain what he thought about the national deficit in particular. Uh, Lex says, I loved Ross Perot, but what a wacky dude ranting about the government deficit. 27 years later, we can all laugh at how silly that was. He's being very sarcastic there because it has only gotten worse since then, of course. Uh, and then finally, Austin tweeting out, uh, R.I.P. Ross Perot, Dana Carvey nailed it. Uh, again, in case you weren't around at the time, uh, Dana Carvey on Saturday Night Live did a spot on uh, impression of Ross Perot. Actually probably made a lot of people like him even more. So uh, people certainly letting their feelings be known on social media today. Uh, of course, Perot lived a long and very full life. We've got uh, previous stories on him and on his legacy at WFAA.com. We're also going to pass along few Funeral information as soon as we get it. Again, all of this coming down just in the last 90 minutes or so.